Hey guys and gals, let's build Ash's Cottage by Lego Disney Wish. This is set number 43231, contains 509 bricks, retails for $49.99, and this set was provided by the Lego Group for early review. So this was not a gift, this is a review offer. And this is essentially what we're going to be building today. And I already did the brick exploration, some interesting pieces, and... I don't know if this is a collaborative build. I'm hoping it is. And it just jumps right on into bag one, which I already have keyed up here. And let's slide that. Well, let's leave that off the side because we're going to be doing that here in a bit. Lots of things that will roll off, so make sure you get a table with a lip. And we got some ourselves some nice print work with this set. Some stuff in the set is printed, and some of it is stickers. So at least Lego's trying to break away. I wish these rock pieces were printed on the bricks, but they're not, sadly. <laughs> and that's pretty much what it is. So let's begin. Let's build it. And really haven't done much. What am I sliding it over there for? I haven't done really a whole lot in terms of work on anything because I just did another review. I'm just kind of planning out the remainder projects for 23 and working on 24. Well, the year 2024, finishing up 2023. And I got a lot of stuff to share, but uh, it's life chores are going to keep getting in the way and it's getting to be my schedule starting to get pretty tight at this point. So I have to reprioritize some stuff. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere anywhere yet. So and there's Star. And I believe that this is Asha. If I can find the box we're gonna be building next. And of course she would be first. Yes, she is. Let me find her torso here. That's what we're building. We're building Asha. Let's get going here. Speaking of Ash, uh, <laughs> it was always kind of a joke. Never came true though, but if I ever had children, one would be named Cole and one would be named Ash. Why? Well, I don't know. I just like those names. And it never happened, sadly, but, you know, <laughs> there'd be no Jay Juniors or no Jaden Juniors or anything like that. None of that. It just, you know. And today I forgot to put the other light on this camera. I may do that maybe in the next installment. I don't know. Um, forgot all about that. I was going to try a different lighting mechanism, method today. We'll just keep the ring light for right now. I don't have it on. I'll turn it on once the build kind of progresses up. Kind of sound out of it. It's a, this is a bedside build. Just got done with a bunch of work today. Relaxed. Now I'm kind of unwinding and doing the set builds. And just to kind of let my mind air out for a bit. Just life things just are getting in the way and it's just becoming more and more impossible to do. Let me put these over here. To do all the Lego stuff like I want to. And you know, the way the economy is right now and yeah, things are just getting to be a little bit out of control. I don't want to bore you with all that, but yeah. It's like this is some kind of a whale. And we'll find out eventually. There's a tile that goes in there too. So I'm really hoping that this is a collaborative build. I did another set, a Disney set, and it was just full, on blown, collaborative, um, multi person build. Up to four people. I'm hoping this one is the same. There's only four bags in this one. Well, you really can't get that in there, huh? Well, let's pop it out then. 
All right, now they want me to put a sticker on this. So we we hadn't even gotten that far. We're already putting stickers. Sticker number 10. And I'm really hoping, though, that my viewership uh, picks up. Uh, because next year I'm probably going to wrap it up <laughs> in terms of tutorials. Okay. I'm not going to be going anywhere per se, but I have a bunch of other things that I got to do. And and being a full time provider is that's a lot of work. Okay. All right, so my goal is to get this set done and possibly review it tonight. I got another one that I got to do. It's really a small one. So I'm working my way from the biggest down to the smallest set while I got some spare time. And just to see if we can get some stuff done here. Are you going to make me... Okay, why don't you just have me put the stickers on both sides of this Lego. So when you're building this, make sure you put a sticker number 10 on both front and back. Um, okay. And... May have to pause the video a few times. I'm gonna have to clear my throat billions of times. And I don't wanna. I don't know if anybody's eating, so we don't need to be grossing anybody out on here. At least I'm considerate, though. I'm not one of those type of guys. Haven't been working any of the building guides lately. I have one that I want to work on because I'm gonna base another project off of it or sub-model. And it's easy to have a printed building guide versus a building guide that I have to watch on YouTube. And Which kind of leads me, you know, do I really need to do any more video tutorials? Not a lot of you guys and gals like them, but uh, and that, I guess that's it. No, we're not done. We got to part more of the more of this wishing well thing here. And yeah, so far this build's not too bad. We just started, so I can't really say it's a horrible build. We won't know that yet. Okay. And another thing that popped up into my mind, which I've seen a few of my buddies already experiencing, is, is arthritis. What would happen if I had that? It'd be hard to push all this stuff together. That's one of my biggest fears in doing this. Oh, there's only supposed to be one flower. I put it in the wrong one, and what happens? doesn't want to come out but when I just least expect it it'll just uh, it, it'll fall out without even trying and that's it and I think that these sit inside these tubes here now, forgive me if things seem a bit off. Um, yep, this is breaking apart already. Um, I don't have that light on. Well, I guess I could turn it on. <laughs> well, it'd help if I plugged it in first. Huh. Had to make up the little sofa bed in here. It's going to be a long year, so yeah, I had to do that. All right, and what I'm going to do is put it in warm. And I kind of want to try that floodlight out. Maybe we'll just do a comparison test in here 
two. Okay, we're gonna start out. I think it was like one, two, three. It was working fine the last time. Okay. We'll set that off to the side. So far, it's an isolated build. Well, we don't know. We haven't started bag two yet, so I can't say that it is. But. Humidity's been kind of brutal out here. We're supposed to get a rainstorm this weekend. And today's the, I think the 28th of September, 2023. So that's what we'll be doing. <laughs> Waiting for the rainstorm. And I gotta go around and check my house. And um, I got a bunch of brick molding that's you know, on the top of my bricks in front of my house and I need to go in there and scrape all that paint off that's kind of peeling up a little bit recock around the windows on the bottom portions and all that stuff and the reason being is is to prevent drafts keep the house toasty uh, especially the way everything keeps going up in price like electrical you you got to really make sure. So, yeah, that's just how it is. And we got to make two hinges. Well, we're going to, I don't know, I was gonna say, do we have to be careful? Yeah, I got like seven weeks left and I'm done with work for a bit. I can't wait means I can really get it. So my Lego studio will still be in this room. I was hoping to move it. It's not going to happen, but it'll still be here. That means I'm going to have to improve some things. So I figure, you know, a lot of the guys on YouTube have these big giant Lego rooms. I won't have that, but this will do. So while everybody else is expanding their collection, I'm going to have to think of other ways to kind of not condense it, but to manage it in a, in a small space. Oh, we had to build two of those. Did they tell me that at the beginning, or do I have to cuss them out? No, they did. Okay, that's like, really? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I wasn't paying attention. That's my fault. But, you know, a lot of things are just kind of going to have to change a little bit. It's almost like having roommates again. never go back to that. Uh, I used to have, I used to do live shows and I'd have roommates that'd come knocking on the door or something like that and I had to stop what I was doing and you know, something needed fixing because I'm kind of like the landlord, you know. And All right. Alrighty. Yeah, I kind of wish I could do these in a live chat more, but we'll see how it goes. So I just picked up all those brackets for the camera. I'm going to just drag them out and swap this little device around here. Now, I did film it with the ring light doing up close shots. And it looked and worked really good. So I'm probably going to be using the ring light more for close-up shots. I still got to get, okay, making sure there's two of these we got to build. I got to get the quick disconnect bracket. I'm going to try to get two of those, or a couple of them. And just make things where I can just easily pull it apart real quick. And I don't want to have to mess with thumb screws or anything like that. And then it just makes things a lot faster to swap them out. If I need to change or take the camera out of the ring light, I don't have to constantly unscrew it. Kind of wish the camera would stick out a little bit more out of the ring light so I can... The little side viewfinder is kind of a pain to open and close. So I have to kind of wiggle it open and 
now. And also I'm kind of due for a new camera. So I need to, oops, this doesn't fit on there. So I gotta start looking around for one of those. And even if I decide to ever cut off my tutorials, I still will document everything that I do. First, I thought these were going to be little feet. Why don't those make nice little bushes? Okay, we need sticker number four. And I was doing the brick exploration. I was kind of excited I got these. No, what's going to happen? I got to deface them now. So, sticker number four. I kind of wish they would have just made some rock patterns here. And printed these on here. To me, printed bricks, and that's what the rock pattern looks like, but to me, printed bricks, they just make the build more, more high-end. It just doesn't feel so cheap. I'm going to do all these the same direction because when you flip them around, I don't want the patterns to be totally lined up or make it where it looks like a sprite sheet getting re getting repeated. <laughs> I mean, we're only on bag one. We've almost been through half of that sticker sheet already. I'm still full from dinner. I had homemade spaghetti and cupcakes. They were store-bought. They weren't homemade, but they were still good. <laughs> and then now you can see now the rocks are kind of staggered. So we're just rotating around. It's what I do in Minecraft and write up my texture packs. I just kind of rotate things around. We've got to build two fences. The set has a lot of oddball colored parts including this door. I used to have a bunch of these when I was a kid in red. And they make great chain link fencing. I would tease my neighbors sometimes. I said, if you make me mad, I'm just going to put a big giant chain link fence around the yard. <laughs> a lot of people out here frown upon those. There are some neighbors that have it. Oh, they fit inside there. That's kind of cool. Almost like a window that you'd see like, a, like for a basement, like for a big brick built building. And just have that kind of protruding out at the bottom like a basement window. Wouldn't be too bad, huh? Alright, well, we're just building one of these. Take one of those squash one by one bricks and shove it in there. Hoping this is going to be a, a complete modular build where multiple people can build this thing at the same time. I can't tell right now. I just haven't really explored the book. Hmm, palisade bricks. Too bad I didn't continue this palisade brick onto this. This would make a great back of a seat or a sofa or something. And we got the door. Let's make sure the hinges are on the left hand side. I can't pick that up. Okay. I'm surprised they don't make clear glass that fits in those. It would have been cool. And then the door sits in like this.
Oh, that's kind of sloppy there. Okay, making sure we're still recording. Close the door. Well, that door doesn't close all the way. That's how they wanted the hinge. Or maybe because we're not done with this yet, it's kind of kind of deformed. Lots of arches in this, huh? Just for this little build. There we go. And that's it. And this is what we have remaining. And it looks like we're going to be continuing on with this. And that's what it is. I'm going to go ahead and change lights. And we're going to see how well this other one performs. All right. I swapped... Uh, lights and all sorts of brackets around. I want to test this out. So, got the floodlight connected now. Let's see here. Now it's really bright, huh? So I just want it right about there, which is about 25%. Okay, so I want to try this one out. I haven't tried it yet to see. And let me see if we can. See if I can, there's kind of like a halo around it because the light is right behind the camera. And the only problem is with this that it's not like a ring light. I'm going to try this out. Like I said, I'm using these for guinea pigs. And we're going to go and move on to bag two. And just to kind of see which method works the best. So far, the ring light seems like it's pretty good but that power adapter gets warm and this one here is the exact opposite uh, the light gets a little warm but the power adapter is cool <laughs> All right, and I gotta show you some here we got some printed shutters as well I wish these were in a different color but hey I got some shutters for the windows alright I'm having a hard time trying to find the torso we're going to save her for later. I don't want to spend all day trying to find parts for figures. And we're working on the inside. All right. Well, now let's do it. And the whole point about testing stuff out now is I don't have to do it on a tutorial. And see how I'm building like this? Could I build a tutorial like this? I could if I reach over and do it like this, but this is not really f fun to do. You notice everything's kind of at an angle like that. It's almost impossible to build it like this, you know? So that's why I have it at an angle right now. And Yeah, it looks like we don't have a lot of floor space in this one. So, Jay, how many lights do you have? Uh, not enough, apparently. Okay, I found the torso now. Put her, start putting her together. Oh, now I just got to find the head. Okay. So while you're watching these, you can see me experiment with lighting and microphones and all that stuff. And as far as for bolting the phone thing on here, matter of fact, I could just do that now, huh? Um, you know what? Let me do that. I'm going to bolt that on there. See how well it works. It's what the TikTok boys and girls use. It's one of these. So, prepare. Uh, it's going to get a little jiggly for some. And I'm going to slide the camera forward here a bit. Well, I'm hoping that I don't have to take off the camera. Or, <laughs> since these are all quarter inch, yeah, I'm not going to be able to do it. I have to get a quarter inch bolt. Um, with a washer, like a padded washer. You take this, 
Does it fit in there? Oh no, it doesn't. I thought these were the same size. Maybe they're different. Well, I'll have to uh, get myself a little an adapter. Because I was going to bolt this phone recorder right here, right below the camera. And, well, back to the drawing board on that one. Because I don't see how that's going to fit in there. You know, it's like I said, I'm experimenting. I'm learning very slowly here. Oh, they used this little ice cream topper piece for the top of the, uh, the teapot. That's kind of cool. All right. And so far, though, the building instructions are, you know, average pace. You know, anybody could put this together. Probably a little easy for an, a full-grown adult, but for a child, this should be fine. I think it's probably seven or eight years of age and up. Let's see. Yep, seven plus. So I'm safe. I can build it. Okay. Now, surprisingly, we get a book in here, and all the parts for this book are printed. So this part's not printed, but this piece is printed here, as well as this one. You can also use these as laptops too. Stick a little keypad in the middle, and there you go. And then they have the book sitting in here. Here's the cover of the book. Hey, I like that print work. Pretty cool. Just sits right in there. And we used a couple of hinges right here. Why? I don't know. Well, it opens. I bet it's going to be like that. And then they use some corner tiles right in the hinge areas. If I could find them. Yeah, you can tell the difference between when I film these in the daytime and when I film them at night. Because at night I'm more relaxed. I'm slower, you know. Yeah, I'm not going to finish that Michael Myers house up. I may finish it up by the end of the year, but I'm not going to mention when it's going to be done because I may have mentioned this in a few other videos, but somebody got angry at me over it, and I thought, well, that'll be the last time I ever mention any projects. You know, some people get mad, you know. Now I'm just like, if you want the guy done in a hurry, you got to pay a consignment fee. <laughs> Either you take what you get, or you, know, you can wait it out. Uh, my goal is eventually is to is to get everything done. Everything's gonna have a building guide. And yes, you'll have if you want that or you're interested in the build, you'll have to purchase it. Uh, I don't give those away for free. They're just a lot of work to write up. So this goes here, like that. So, not too bad. Yeah, if you like the lighting in here, I mean, most people don't really comment on these, but tell me if you like the, the lighting or not. Like I said, I'm trying to make these not so bad. So see, like right now, it's bright in there. If I turn the light off, it's dark. So, and now it's light again. And the, that's the whole goal, is to make this stuff real easy to see. So you, the builder, or you, the viewer, Oh, I had a fan of mine. He's not into Lego whatsoever. He likes watching my Lego builds to see how things are put together. So he just watches me for entertainment. He's like, I hope that's okay. I'm like, sure, that's fine, you know, because I watch a lot of stuff on YouTube that it's something that's interesting, but I'm not going to pick up the hobby. But it's like, you know, I mean, hey, that's quite all right. If, 
you like this type of entertainment and you know the way everything is oh yeah that writer strike thing finally lifted but the actors and actresses are still on strike I'm not going to get into all that but you know trying to find another uh oh wait a minute I put that there when it's not supposed to be there. That's a printed piece right there. And I need another one of those little slope pieces. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I'm already ready for the, for the cold October weather. That's if it gets cold. I always think of, I mean, October's autumn. It's supposed to be cooler. It's supposed to wake up in the morning and feel that cool air. And we're almost in October, but right now we're actually below average for temperature out here. Usually it's, right now it should be in the 90s. No, this weekend it's going to be in the low 70s out here. Uh, they said weather has gotten so bad that we're going to see a lot more rain than what we're used to because of the whole um, global warming stuff all messed up. So, oh, that's the top of the fireplace. Well, that's not too bad. It's kind of adorable, huh? The igloo fireplace. Yeah, but with the whole global warming, we just got to be careful and stuff like that. And I think that's what it does. Hold it all out. Okay, I heard something fly off. I hope it's nothing bad. Alright. I like these type of inverted bricks with bow. I just need to get more of those in different colors. Yeah, this weekend we're going to be firing up the fire pit outside. Can't wait to get that all going. <laughs> I have some wood chopped up and stuff like that. That's going to be... The nights out here now are getting into the 40s and the days are in the 70s. So um, It's always cooler in the, in the deserts. Daytime's not so much, but at night it's, it's manageable. Yeah. Once that happens, it'll be kind of cool. Got a bunch of old plywood that I got to burn. No, I don't just throw it all on there at once. Just slowly trickle it in. Been doing a lot of demolition around here and you know, it's better than going into the landfill. I use it for some heat and stuff. And I take the ashes and throw them in the compost, get the compost bin. All right. And we got ourselves a chest of drawers. We have to put a fork and a spoon in there, but they give us extras. So I'm going to drop them all in. This must be the silverware drawer. No, we'll just leave them out. We'll just do this. There's supposed to be a Another, another fork in there. Well, that's a spoon. Let's see here. I mean, that's a lot of stuff in there, huh? Will that close? Yeah. I got it stuffed in there. Never had it where you stuff stuff in a drawer, and then you can't open up that drawer, and you're kind of wiggling it around. And I have some in my Lego room that are like that. I need to go in there and take the back of the cabinet off just to... Reach in there and scoop out the stuff. We must use these for little shelves because it's like this. Am I pretty happy with this build? It's kind of meh in terms of what it is. It just... I mean, some of the stuff in here is pretty good uh, ideas for, like, furnishings for homes, but... I think this little cottage is going to be anything but a cottage.
And yeah, yeah, I know it's meant for little kids, but you know, for me, <laughs> you know, sometimes I get, Jay, why do you do Lego for? You know, just to explore my imagination. It goes like that. Well, if that was smooth tile, that would look even better. Probably gonna use that to attach accessories to. Okay, then the hinge goes on the top. Yeah, but I got a. I, I don't. This I have one more set after this, and then that's it. So hopefully, if I don't get contacted by Lego by Friday night, uh, that's good. That means I won't get any more sets for a while. <laughs> uh, I always hear some. Oh, I gotta have all the Lego sets. No, not me. I just need parts. Must be a little, a little tree or something. Well, that's what I first thought it was, but it's like a nice post to hold up part of a gazebo or, or you know, something like that. Oh, we gotta make two of those. Oh, not too bad. Yeah, this is still keeping my interest in running bag two. And I know there's gonna be somebody that can say they can build this fast. You, you should more, most likely can. I'm just uh, enjoying the build. That's the whole point about doing the extensive reviews. I don't do half-baked reviews. Um, I mean, I want you to know if I'm happy building the set or I'm just miserable. So far, we're doing okay. <laughs> well, I'm doing okay. Yeah, today I was watching um, one of the Terminator movies. And I thought, man, if that's so many inspiration, there you go. Oh, wait a minute, these face outwards, not inwards. I'll take that out, or I could just, I could just rotate it. There we go. So I was watching one of the, the old, well, I'd say that it was made in the 2000s. And watching Terminator, <laughs> like, wow, back then, even, even 10 or so years ago, it wasn't too bad of a movie. With the Arnold Schwarzenegger. Really good actor. Um, How does that go on there? I think it goes like that. Okay, yeah, it would, obviously. And... Probably one of the actors I wanted to meet when I was a kid, never did. He got the, he was the governor of California. <laughs> he was, he was, he was average. wanted to meet the man. For all I know, if maybe his kids or grandkids watch these videos, we don't know. Or maybe he watches stuff. <laughs> we don't know. I wonder how many celebrities watch, like, the Lego content. Like, stuff that I build. You know, how many of them watch that stuff? You know. Okay, we got our shutters here. Like they just sit right on the tubes. Right here you put the two tubes in there. Pretty much that's how they're gonna go on. These are not really firmly secured, so these might flake off. You know what, we haven't hit any stickers. I wish this was in this color or brown, but well, I guess you can have an abandoned dollhouse if you wanted to. Those also make great pieces for crates. Okay. Yeah, but I always wondered, though, how many celebrities watch these. It just 
Somebody just watches in the background. What I've heard is not a lot of Lego people have heard of me before. Remember, I don't go around advertising my channel and be like, hey guys, look who it is. <laughs> I don't want to do that. All right, so we got to take one of these and put one of these patterns on here, sticker number nine, which is that. Does it really matter which way it goes? I try to match them according to the picture. Because sticker placement may be critical. We don't know. Maybe it's part of a bush. I wish Lego would make these printed or make a profile brick like this. Oh, and it goes like this right here. Okay. Some houses in my area have the rock down at the bottom, which looks really good. Mine has the brick, but I was like, yeah, that'd be kind of cool. I'm going to make another one here, which you got to make. I got to make two of these. Oh, wait, just one, but. Trying to think of any other celebs that I wanted to meet. But I'll guarantee you though, there's probably at least somebody out there who's famous that probably watches these. If you are, I'd like to hear from you, it'd be kind of cool. Well, if it's an actor or an actress, they probably most likely are. Now see, that's like for me, I just do this for fun. I'm not under any union contracts or anything, so I can film as much as I want. Okay, so we're in bag two right now. We're almost halfway done with the sticker sheet. Looks like this may go on the other side of the, of the cottage. Like that. That's not too bad. It looks like an older style home. Okay. Let's go ahead and put her together. Get the noggin installed and we'll install the wig. There you go. She's all ready to go. She can sit back there and look at the interior that's incomplete, thinking, why isn't this guy done already? And that's it for bag two. And I have one extra telescope piece. Let me take a look at the inside of this here. I may have forgot something. I don't know. Or they just gave me an extra. But those I don't really... Well, I guess they did. I don't see where it would go. Let's only have one leg in there. I only have two. So maybe they just gave me an extra one of those. And we'll hang on to that. We may need it. All right, so far, everything's going pretty good. Let's start bag three. Let me fill my power adapter on this light. See, this one's actually cooler. And the only problem with this setup here, it's not really... Uh, <laughs> this one's going to be a little hard when I do the close-up tours. I may have to switch lights to do it, um, which I probably won't. I'll probably put the ring light back on. This light might be good for this setup here. And the reason why I'm saying that is, is because I get to see the little viewfinder in plain sight with the ring light would cover most of it up until I can get that situated. Or I could just attach the ring light on this bracket, but, you know, like I said, I'm learning how to do all this. I still need to break down and get a new camera. I'm going to try to find one with a built-in light. I have a few cameras in mind uh, made by Canon. And you could either buy open box, refurbished, or brand new. And, you know, I keep this stuff around, so I'll probably buy me a brand new one. There's the camera like this that I have. This thing's been dropped and thrown around, and it still works. It's a Sony, but 
My, my professional one's a Panasonic. And I mean, could I do this all with a with the professional camera? I could. The problem with it is with 4K videos is I have to drop about two or three hundred dollars on a memory card for that camera. Was that even gonna fit in there? Shows it's supposed to go right there. Oh, there we go. That's not too bad. Those little stems are pretty cool too. Okay. Yeah, cause see how dark it is in there. Turn or yeah. It's not too bad. I'm playing around with the light. Yeah, I know, but I just want to make sure that everything's working the way it should. And when I do the tutorials, or when I'm doing the mock tours, like now I can do bigger mocks and have better lighting. That means I could probably come in and rebuild some of those old models that I have and make a, a better quality video. Well, if the reviews don't pick up in views, I may have to start just focusing on mocks anyways. And just use those for the show and tells. It basically show and tell. And I cannot find the other thing here. Alright, I'm not sure if this is the roof. Might be. I don't know with these kind of sets. You never know with them how it is. And then these go on here, right above the windows. And then we use the plates with bow. Halfway done, probably about 52 53 percent done with this building guide. It only comes with one building guide, too. So, yeah, this is not a collaborative build. Well, that's seamless right there. I really was hoping this was going to be collaborative. I did one of these, and it was just full collaborative. Does that degrade the set? Not so much, but I'd like to see it. So, if the set has a weak spot in it, like just a weak point of the build. And I gotta build two of these here. It helps out with the weak spots of the set versus you know the weak points versus the strong points. Strong point is multi is remember I'm always focused on play value, collaborative build, and the ease of the build is the instructions easy to follow. And keeps the keeps the reviews less biased. Like right now, instructions are easy to follow. Uh, it's an enjoyable build. It's keeping my retention. It's not boring. It's got some interesting colors, especially it looks more like fall colors right here. So that's pretty good. We've had to put some stickers on. I think right now I've dropped it down to a 9.8. Okay, so nothing, no major catastrophic errors or anything like that. So it's, it's a pretty good build. If you're looking for something that's collaborative build, this is probably not the set you want to really invest in. Nonetheless though it's got some very interesting colored parts. I mean, cool yellows, um, a flame yellowish orange, um, orange, medium nougat. These are autumn fall colors. Uh, this is something you could build like on a nice fall day. I, I mean So far with the Disney sets, I'm not disappointed with them. Some people say I'm kind of nice on my reviews. I'm too generous. It's not that I'm generous or anything like that. But if it's a good build, I'm going to let you know it. If it's a bad build, I'm going to let you know it. So this is a nice texture right here. You could probably use that to integrate in your own builds. 
Okay, we gotta build more stuff here. Build two of these. And some people want me to sugarcoat the reviews. Oh, your reviews are always negative. No, they're not. I'm just getting down to the truth. I've had some people say, if you don't make your reviews positive, I'm going to unsubscribe them like, okay, I'll give you some recommendations for the scripted reviews. I mean, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to, you know, here's the deal. This is just something I always say is that, you, you know, you deserve really, you deserve better. I don't want to give you just some filtered, censored, scripted review. You know, I want you to get the best review possible. You know, I want you to know, this is all from a mock builder. I'd rather build my own stuff. But when I'm building something like this, and it's keeping my interest as a mock builder, and there's some good building techniques, good parts, sets bright and colorful, I want to build it. Remember the, uh, that winter, um, the Alpine Lodge that I built kept my interest. I did not want to put that set down. That's the type of stuff that I want to see Lego make is sets like that. I think these probably go over here. Okay, it's like, how's that going to fit on there? Well, now we know. There we go. I'm sticking those in there. Kind of a chore. Yeah, without the ring light though, I have better view of the uh, viewfinder, but also it's hotter too. The light's cold. It's not hot. It's barely warm. The plug's barely warm. It's just lots of heat in this area. <laughs> it's the what? It's the light wavelengths. And it just uh, there we go. Oh, I thought maybe I broke something. No, everybody's taking a nap. Okay, we're gonna have to be. Oh, that just goes on there like that. So this is meant to wrap around, so that doesn't look too bad. It's almost like a full complete house in here. Like a Smurf, like a Smurf house. <laughs> okay. And if you don't like the colors on this, just use your own collection and Kind of enhance the colors a bit on this here. Yeah, I need to go see my eye doctor, get my prescription changed a bit. You get old, that's the price about getting older. Things kind of get out of focus a bit. <laughs> to get some, some better contacts. Although I'm Glasses are, I don't like glasses too much, but then again, I don't have to fuss with popping things in and taking things out. I can just flip them on or off. building a tree at least but now I gotta find a nose cone one nose cone and it looks like it either rolled off or it rolled on the floor um, well let me uh, I don't see it it may show up I don't want to waste half the night so I'm gonna go find it go me go find one the manual didn't need it and this is one of my from my own collection and I've broken a few of these too so brittle brown is still striking on me that's uh, how it is
Yeah, I don't know about this tree thing here. I'm trying to get the branches to line up a little better. And then it goes, well, it goes right here. I don't have the turntable. I just used it for the last set I reviewed. And I need to pop that off. Matter of fact, I did the unboxing, and I hope I took a picture of the thumbnail. <laughs> Let me take a look here. Um, let's see here. Okay, I did. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Um, you show the tree kind of rotated like this, so there it is. All right. This is this this one's only got four bags we got to go through, not five. The other set I got to do is like 150 pieces, really quick. So the unboxing will be combined with the review, and yeah, I think my cutoff on unboxings and showing the parts is a thousand. Oh, we got to put stickers on those? You're kidding me! All right, so six goes on the left. I'm just going to set it on there randomly here. There, I got that on there right in the middle, too. <laughs> and then... Must be little cushions. If those were printed, it would have been awesome. Lego, you can't be that cheap. Now, this one didn't quite go on. But there it goes. So we already did six and seven. Okay. And we got to put sticker number three on that, so that'll get peeled off when I'm done. <laughs> it's a little aerial rug, too. Man, why couldn't I have been printed, Lego? That'd make a great accessory tile for a house. And I didn't even get that on there straight. Now I'm going to have to ding this set down to 9.5 because it's just, it's just mostly stickers that I've noticed. And just by looking at the construction on the set, I have a feeling this is going to come off very easily, unless it's supposed to be like that, but I don't know. I'm just, uh, now I'm kind of getting kind of weary on this set. I can even show that's how it's in the book, too. All right, well, we got more tiles in here. We should have just put this one tile right here in the back before we did anything else. You know, I just noticed I haven't touched this yet. Knock on wood. My luck, I probably will. Oh, that's a little table there. It's kind of a cool color for that. Oh, we're really serious, right? When we get there, I'll show you. Alright, so we got this little plate thing. We got this 2x2 two two tile. There's going to be a sticker on that. And it's like some kind of happy face donut thing. Uh, I mean, Lego, we couldn't print that on there. Jay, you like printed stuff? Yeah, I do. And then this goes right here in the back here. And then that's the happy face. And then we got two little teacups in here. I mean, we're really just, at least the stickers are not bam, one after another, like a shotgun. Do -do 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 -do. No, it's not like that. At least here, at least Lego's a little nicer and not pounding them down hard.
Yeah, I've been kind of dabbling around with speed build videos. I've been kind of thinking, doing those as YouTube shorts. Oh, I forgot to put the little studs in the back here. Now, can I wiggle them in there? Sure can. I don't want to take that off. That arch is a, this is a one by five by two arch, or half arch, or half bow, how you look at it. Let's see how it's starting to uh, get dark in there. I kind of want to see the outcome of this set to see how it's put together and mm, this big old arch piece here. Something you use like to make a bridge or something. I mean, I think these go in here. I think I know I put them in the right place. Yeah. And then it sits right on there. It's still kind of flimsy though. It's probably going to lock together here in a bit. One of these sides are going to lock in. It looks like they almost can. It's just meant to be a stop. Okay. All right, so this one goes in the middle here. And then we're actually going to kind of drag these one by eight plates here to hold that in there. So now it's going to get a little more sturdy. I don't know how sturdy this is going to be. Can't be any bad in those Mario sets that I have that you just look at and they fall apart and disintegrate. Okay, we got to remember to put the studs in here. The build's a bit sl slow for an adult because we're doing only one or two pieces at a time. But at least it's not um, a digital building guide, like in terms of. I, I, I don't mind PDF files. Lego wants us to use a 3D app. That's fine and prove the app. Other than that, it's kind of unbearable. If I could use it on my computer, even better, like someone mentioned, it's kind of what you want to use it for. I was going to say, we're not missing any more, are we? And that's it for bag three, and that is what we have remaining. And we're going to wrap this up with bag four, and I see something that I don't like. You think it's stickers? Well, I'll show you here in a bit. What do you think is in there? Now, if you think it's a cape, you're correct. And that's exactly what this is. This is the plain red cape. And I hate putting those little boogers on stuff because I have to deal with it. And it's, I don't know. This is one that I'm going to have to build right now. There's too many parts involved with him. Well, I've only found two pieces. Are you still recording? All right. I'm just checking my camera here to make sure. I'm hoping to start um, over the weekend is start editing a lot of these videos and try to get these are these reviews are released when I get them done. Michael gave me permission to do it. Um, 
So, oh, I forgot to put the cape on. We gotta pop his head off now. See, I'm gonna put the kind of the rough side on the outside, and make it look more softer. I hate putting these on. You know why? Because you gotta multitask and hope it doesn't come apart. And you just stick the head on. Who cares if it's on backwards? Just shove it on there because you could easily turn the head. They have to give me capes. Hate those things. Well, at least I survived. We're not done yet. I gotta find the wig. This wig is pretty cool if I can find it. It's like a forward brush quiff. And I need to find that in medium nougat. Lego's got so many wigs, just not in the right colors that I need. Well, I can't even find it. So what do I do? I know it was in here when I did the review. Well, we'll set him off to the side. We'll get to his wig later. It'll show up eventually. Oh, wait a minute. No, he doesn't have the quiff. That was the other guy. He's just got your typical... Uh, um, white hair and mine's starting to turn that color which doesn't bother me I could be like all the TikTok kids put him back there oh it's even got the stars by it too let us know that we're done with that okay and here now they show this thing fully folded up like this so when I do the tour I can just fold it out We got to build two of these little lantern pieces. We got some of these transparent purple with the sparkly stuff in there. Kind of cool. Oh yes, yeah, since Halloween's coming up, I am going to be building that big jack o' lantern that I built, that big pumpkin, and I'm going to have to put the building guide on my tablet so I can view it. Or I could just view it on Rebrickable, too. <laughs> Save myself some space. And yes, guys and gals, I actually use my own building guides. Hmm. I think these would be hanging down, but no, they're upwards. So, I think the only thing I need to order for that pumpkin steel that I'm still short on from the prototype is 2 by 3 orange bricks. So I think in my next haul, I'm going to order a couple more of those. i got to find out how many I'm short on. The beauty about having a building guide is I can check. Go through my inventory and then order. I always order the exact amount that I need and add one or two extra in the cart. And that's what I'm going to do. I think I already have all the other pieces in inventory. What I do when I build stuff for my own guides, I just it's on the tablet, I just go through it and then I go through my collection, find the parts I need, and then check it off and move on to the next one. I've been thinking about putting check boxes on that anyways. Means I'll have to rewrite all the building guides. That would just be an updated version of it. I usually don't work with a lot of PDF stuff. I work with it, but I don't write them up that much, something elaborate. So I'll figure out how to add my own check boxes and stuff like that in there so you, the builder, can check off things if you have the correct number of parts. Is it buried under one of these? I'm trying to find one more of those there. I have a bunch of those, just not in that earth green color. Well, I thought I had some in here. Okay, let's uh, start sorting out parts.
Okay, I found it. The brick separator was hiding it from me. Oh, we're going to have to deface this tile. Lego. We're making a bed, by the way, and it's almost like the same thing you'd find in Minecraft. Alright, so that's the pattern right there. If that was printed, it would have been cool. Or if they had some one-by-one -one tiles like that, that'd make great little terracotta tiles for floors. Or walls. Great for Spanish style buildings. And I'm trying hard not to yawn in your ears. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting tired. I'm not going to do the review on this. I'll just do the half review that I do on here. I'll save the review for tomorrow. And we have to make two of these. No. Another sticker. I don't even have this color in this size. They want me to deface that. Oh, well, Lego. You and your stick you and your sticky mess. In fact, Lego needs to come in with a nice scraper to remove the stickers from the bricks when you're done. I mean, it tells you how sheltered I was in terms of I don't put stickers on my mocks. I try to avoid, uh, like in my custom builds, I don't, I try to avoid as much as I can using parts with stickers. Because it could be something that's hard to obtain. So I try to use prime parts. Stuff like this, you can get these off the shelf. You don't have to hunt for a sticker sheet or try to make your own. It's like the paper shower curtain. I had some stuff that had it. And, oh wait a minute, this doesn't go here. And I'm just not going to uh, use that anymore. So I'm trying to break away from the shower curtains like that. And that's pretty much what it is. Oh, that's a round. I forgot to mention that. Okay. We're about 75% done with the build. 75, close to 80%. Yeah, today I had a client um, wanted to hire me for a job. And some people are just kind of weird about things. Um, he was asking questions about what kind of car I drive, how old is it, is it a smart car? And I'm just like, really? What does that have to do with hiring me for a job? And I just shook my head just thinking, I don't know. I haven't heard back from him yet. Probably going to go, oh, this guy's car's too old. I'm not going to deal with it. It's, it was a local job, too. And I'm going to stick this thing on here. They ha We want you to stick it on right about here. I'm going to try to center this up as much as I can like that and do this. Well, I got that pretty close. But I was like, why does that have to do with a job? But some people are just, you know, why am I not, am I going to get disqualified because of the car I drive? Oh, I just need to know if the people I'm hiring have a smart car. I 
I don't know. My car should have been on the road a lot longer than those smart ones have. Oh, it goes like that. Okay, it fits right in there, too. Okay. In fact, I'm seeing more and more of those smart cars on the road. The only thing I'd like to have, though, is where they parallel park themselves. I always hated doing that. It's all the guesswork, but... When you go to like to the DMV, get your driving test. They won't want you using any of that, which I don't blame them. When my nephew was going to take his uh, driving test. He was not allowed to use any smart things like the backup cameras and all that stuff. You know, you have to use your own judgment. And that's how it should be, you know. I don't... I mean, I could wire, I could upgrade my truck to have all that smart stuff on there, and and I thought, oh, I'm not doing all that, because that's more stuff that's going to break down in the car, and I don't want to have to go in and have to try to troubleshoot it. The whole point about getting in the car is to go somewhere, not to be stuck in front of the computer. If I want to be in front of the computer, I'd stay at home and do that. Okay. And this goes right here. I think these are just supposed to be around the window like this. Like little supports above the window like that. It's not too bad. And we only got two stickers left on this sheet. So we don't have that much left. And this thing goes here. This is by all means not a modular, so if you're looking for a modular building, it's not. Okay, these still open up. Okay, good. In fact, let's open that up there and see if we can kind of, well, see that's starting to cave in. And right now we're down to a 9.5 on this set, but it's going to drop down lower because of the stickers. But I'm kind of curious on how it's built, so. Well. Looking for one more of those little round brick things. Oh, there it is right there. Okay. Okay, making sure we are still good. Okay, now... We don't have to put a sticker on this one. I gotta find it. It's a log piece. What the heck is that doing in there? Just a stump in a house. And then now we gotta put a sticker on something. I just gotta find it. What color do I need? Purple? So, Jay, you don't like putting those stickers on, huh? Absolutely not. Something like that. Just push it up against the edge. And then... This set has a little bit of everything, but it seems like I'm putting together more of the smaller stuff than I'm doing anything else here. And this goes here like that. Right. I 
Oh, if you have mosquito problems around your house, you know, something I had learned, if you, make sure you have LED lighting. Mosquitoes just don't care about it. So if you don't want them around your house or bothering you, just turn on the LED lights. For some reason, they just don't see it very well. Well, we can. And this is the last sticker right here. Just a little poster on there. Just something I uh, was told today, and I thought, oh, I didn't know that. Well, now we know. <laughs> and we're done with the sticker sheet, so that can go down there. And yes, I tossed it on the floor. And it's like, oh. And my house lights are all uh, the old-fashioned little curly cue bulbs, the uh, compact fluorescents. And I thought, well, I may have to swap those out. All right. Remember, we had that problem right here, so just stick your finger in here and just kind of mush down over here. Trying to, there we go. It looks like a nice little house, you know. And I'm going to have to raise this up a bit. That part hasn't changed, it's still got to do it. They have some tripods that are fully automatic and just press buttons, and I thought those would be so nice to have. A smart tripod. Alright, so this is the fake fireplace there. Wow, Lego. I mean, it's just kind of cheapsy there. I mean, this is a nice old house, and what did you do? You went cheap on it. Got this nice beefy chimney with the fake stickered rocks. Okay, I only need just this here. Oh, wait a minute. This is wrong. Oh, and this whole thing is coming apart. You're kidding me. So I put it on wrong, and it's just disintegrated. <laughs> I'm trying my best not to say bad words, but I almost said something here. I, I, I got to cut down on the uh, profanity on these because more and more families are watching these. But you'll never hear me say the F word on this. It's just uh, a little too much. Little banjo or guitar in there. That's printed surprisingly. And then we got a little basket here. It's like a little kid's room or a teenager's room. Just use this as the basketball in there. And then they got the little chopsticks. So, uh, trying to get those in there. That stuff's loose, so if you move it around too much, it'll probably come flying out. Alright, and now we are here, and that is printed. You can see right through it. You know, I, I like this print stuff, but it only came with one. Get enough of those, make good church windows for a church. Alright, now we gotta just fish these down in there. Right, feed them down in the little holes. Okay. We still gotta make some more of these little support things. Oh, that's always fun. We gotta make two of them too. Yeah, I kind of wish I could, and I know I keep saying it needs, I just wish I could play some music. 
you think anybody would go on strike it and be the musicians, but no, you know why? They're too busy sending out copyright notices. You know, you think that they would be uh, the ones that would... Uh, I think that one by four rounded plate's going on top. Yeah, it does. I'm gonna put that on there with the same as this one here. Well, it just sits in there. I mean, that's a. Uh, Sure. Yeah, it just sits in there. So don't move that around while you're playing around with it, I guess. And this just goes on the top. Yeah. Let's see, we're at 25%. We're going to turn it all the way up. Isn't that easier to see? We're going to try 30% here. Here we go. See if that makes a little bit of a difference. I'm trying to, for my sanity purposes, not make it so hot over here that I'm about to faint. You use these with the with the regular yellow, you'd have a really good thatched roof. Almost done too. I like the outcome on this set. Not too bad. Just uh I mean what do you do about the holes in here? Sometimes you just can't fill all that in with Lego. Lego's meant is a square toy. It's not rounded to fill all those little voids and just, just pretend that those are filled in. And Hmm. Oh, I was going to say, why, why is it not going in all the way? But there we go. And that's it. This is what we have remaining here, including the brick separator. Well, we got to be careful. We don't want to break it before we review it. After I review it, take the photography, I don't care. Okay, so we'll just pretend that this is on um, a turntable. So we're going to take a quick tour here. I'm just going to readjust some stuff. Let me just back up here a little bit. So yes, if you're motion, get motion sickness real easy, this is probably not for you. As I do move the camera around a billion times, just to make sure you get a better view of things here. And then we'll focus in really good. Okay, so here it is. And you could obviously bring this out if you want to. I mean... Looks okay. I think it looks better all folded up. How does the box show it? Well, how does the manual show it? Shows it like that. And don't worry, I've already scanned it, so yeah, it's all folded up. And then we have the inside here. And yeah, let's grab some figures here. We're going to read off the name of this. This is Star. Just pretend like it's floating. Where's the box? At? What's her name again? Sakina? I'm saying that right. This is Asha, I believe. They're falling over here. Or just because I'm tired. 
And then we have, what's his name now? Uh, Sabino. Could have been Sabina. Uh, so, there you go. So, we're going to grab one of these ladies here and walk around. Can she sit on the stools? Yep. Kind of a tight fit there. Can she sit there so they can have their cup of tea and have a piece of cake or whatever that is. And if you need to get in here, just fold this out. So they can come in here and go, Oh, we only have a three-sided house. Not too smart here, Lego. We only got three sides. That's probably what they're thinking. And then they can just do this. And if they're tired, you can have them take a nap. There's only one bedroom, so they're all, they're all gonna have to sit here and fight over who gets the bed. Do it like that. They can just watch this older gentleman sleep. And you got this uh, jiggly puff thing. We'll set that somewhere. Put it on the cake. And, yeah, so it's got some nice furniture and stuff like that. And as you can see, though, I can play with this. It's, you can, it gold hands. So if you, you have a child who likes this, you can join in on the play adventures. And, yeah, and that's pretty much what it is. This is not going to be a very lengthy tour at all when I film the video. That's essentially what it is. And we got the little wishing well here. Wish you can fix this onto the main build. So it is playable. It's got three figures that like to fall down like dominoes. At least the li well, yeah, you can't get them to stay up easily, huh? Well, you get the idea. Um, we're going to start the review with build quality and. You know, it feels okay. I'm not too big of a fan of these kind of moving around here. These shutters do kind of flake off. So I'm afraid that we will do. Well, there's no way to open up the door unless you... Well, oh, it opens up inwards. So you have to do that. So I'd say the build quality is, is okay on this. Something fell down. Oh, it was the Jigglypuff thing. And... It's not finished off, obviously. For let's say, let's say that this is not ready for to be dropped in a city, obviously. Uh, mock inspiration and value. You could probably expand on this, and it's pretty flat on the back side. Just lose the lantern, just get another one of these, and make a whole complete house. It'd be really cool, like a little house in the forest or something. Finish off the roof here a bit more. That'd be a good city. A good city build here. Uh, for build experience, it did keep my interest, especially even when I'm tired. And I didn't lose interest at all. It was very fun to put together. It was bright and colorful. I think that's what sold this set, is it's bright and colorful. All right. But the build quality, I'd say, is average. Build experience, yeah, it's what you typically get for a Lego Disney set. Um... I think of anything else. We already talked about city drop in value. Um, no collaborative build. So it's a solo build, sadly. So only you or someone who you're given the set have to build it independently. That's a sad thing. I was hoping this would be a collaborative thing. So sadly, it's not. And that was probably one of the things I was hoping to see on here. I'm going to. Turn this light up. Let's see here. Turn this up just a little. Let's go up to 40 here. See if that does a little better. Um, we already talked about the collaborative build. Play value. Obviously, you can play with it. So, you've got a lot of play experience with this set. I, three mini dolls. You got the well to push the gentleman in here. You want to drink water. There you go. Lots of fun with this. So, I'd say, yeah. The only thing that subtracts from the value is the stickers. For this being a 500 piece set, it came with a lot of stickers. Yeah, and that was kind of the bummer. Uh oh, couldn't hold that one in. But for the most part, though, I'm, I'm satisfied with the build. Now, for my score on this set, I'm going to say it's a 9.2. Mainly because the stickers. 
it's not a collaborative build. And just, it's just kind of, kind of just, that feels pretty sturdy, but this just feels like it's ready to fall apart. And it's not quite, there's a couple holes in the floor here. Let's see if we can tip it over and I'll show you. I mean, I mean, if there was a way to fill that in right there, be pretty cool. I guess it's up for you, the builder. But I think whoever's going to get this set is going to be very uh, happy to get it. It's nice, bright, colorful. It's got a lot of play value for such a small set. So, yeah, I'm going to stick with my score of 9.2. I really had nothing wrong with it. Tell me what you guys and gals think of the set.